Hey everyone, this is Troy and welcome back to part three of our training series. So in the last session, we spent a lot of time over here on the left hand side of the screen, right? creating our different takeoff templates, doing some drawing, and then we touched on editing drawing. So in this section, we're going to stay over here for just a, a couple more minutes and then we're going to hop over and kind of work our way down the right hand side of the screen. Okay, a couple things that I want to still touch on is the really nice thing about these takeoff templates is you can do a lot with them so this 12 inch tile for example we have this blue color here we can modify that if we want to so i can click on the little symbol here and it's going to give me a, a sub menu i mean i could delete this so i could delete all the drawings that are associated with that if i wanted to um, I can edit so I can go down here and add a description or I could change the name if I want. I could also change the color fill. So let's say that I really wanted that to be green. Um, it's going to change green just like that. Okay. Start to save the change. What I really want to show you though is the really cool thing. You really only have to create these one time. Okay. So we created this list here and it went fairly quick, but it'll go even quicker on your next project. To do so, we're, again, we're going to click on the icon to get to our sub menu, and we're going to add this to our library. So what this does is the next time that we upload a new project into the software, our project tab here will be blank, but our library tab is where all of our saved items are. So there is my 12 inch tile. It's going to remember that I chose that color. So I want all my 12 inch tile to be that greenish color with the, the blue border. And at that point, all I'm going to do is just hit that green arrow and then immediately start to draw. So taking use of this takeoff template library will save you a lot of time in futures. Okay. This also does sort alphabetically. So if you're doing a lot, a naming scheme can help. So let's find something here. So like everything with, that started with the word sheet, okay, is going to group all of these together. So if you're up here and you're getting like a, a long list of things like I do here, we can go up here and start to search. So if I type in the word sheet, it's going to pull those off. So a naming scheme can really help if you have a large number of um, takeoffs like that, especially like our HVAC people or our plumbing or electricity. The takeoff library is a great way to save time. Also, the settings up here, this is to switch over to metric. So right now we've worked on an imperial plan, um, but we can easily toggle back and forth between metric. And you actually don't even have to do it at the start of the project. You can do it at any point in the project. So if I went over here to settings, I would say I want to use metric for this project. You're going to see the system is going to automatically update and change our fields like that. So I'm going to go over here and hover. It's going to show us, okay, look at that. We're in cubic meters now. And then everything over here is going to reflect and our scale is down in meters as well. Again, you can do that at any time and we can toggle right back and we're back into uh, imperial mode. Okay. So let's hop over here to the right hand side of the screen. Up here at the very top, this little person, that is our company settings. So you can click there and you can go in and update your billing information, change your credit card. You can even upgrade your subscription. Uh, lots of really cool stuff in there. If we go down one down, this is going to toggle this whole left hand panel. So it basically puts you in full screen mode. So say that I was drawing here with my drywall. Uh, we realized that this area can take out you know a pretty good chunk of the screen i put my my height say it's a 12 foot wall and then i could shrink that down and now i've got the entire screen to do my drawing okay and you can quickly bring it back just like so bookmarks will touch on that on its own kind of separate topic here is our incremental zoom in and out zoom home will zoom you all the way back out just like so Here's our drawing school. So just like we drew with a polygon, um, if you're doing a linear measurement, we have the rectangle as well. So linear and rectangle, you're just going to toggle back. It does always default to linear. Drop down to rectangle, and there we go. So we just did our just did our drywall for there. Under edit, we can do edit, and we can click right on it, as I showed in the last video. And now we can modify that. Really cool though. Right below the edit arrow is multi select. And let me tell you, multi-select is your friend. You can do all kinds of things with multi-select. Say, for example, that all of our drawings here are on this quarter inch scale. And say that that was really an eighth inch scale. We can use multi-select to help us here. So the way this works, I'm going to click multi-select. 
And then I'm gonna just gonna click up here in the upper left hand corner of the screen and I'm gonna click once and then I'm just gonna drag down with the mouse. So you can kind of see that I'm starting to draw a rectangle figure. So anything that falls within that rectangle figure will be highlighted. So in this case, these two drawings would be highlighted, okay? But if I was gonna change the scale, I'm gonna do one click over here, yep. grab my tool. I'm gonna pull it down and that way I'm gonna highlight everything on the page at one time and then we can go change the scale and say you know what that was really supposed to be an eighth and there we go it's going to quickly make the change for you okay let's drop us back in the quarter where we're supposed to be and there we go multi-select you can do lots of different things with multi-select once we get into label groups which will be in the next version i think the next version will be label groups and bookmarks that kind of thing um we can copy so say that this pattern is going to repeat throughout and it, and it kind of does so we can go up here instead of drawing it every time if we wanted to copy paste we certainly can so i'm going to go up here to copy if you wanted to use a keyboard shortcut you can use Control c or command c on a mac since we're staying directly on the same plan page we can really go directly to paste or command or control v or command v on a mac the way that works is we're going to click once and that's going to bring that up and then the second click is for placement okay um, if we're using hotkeys again let's do a hotkey example click there once i'm going to do command c on my mac directly into command v i'm going to click once just to bring it up click command v again click and command v click and play so it becomes really really quick to be able to copy and paste around the screen like that multi-select grab those we can um, flip things so if we want to flip this horizontal we can, we can flip them back and forth like that we can also flip them vertically okay so kind of cool there if we wanted to delete everything on the page at one time we certainly could multi-select highlight everything and go to the little trash can and your entire page is clear just like that okay markup tools these are great Go right here, let's kind of start at the top. So the highlighter, think of the good old fashioned yellow highlighter. We can go up here and we can highlight it to a certain section. Um, the way I did that, let me back out just by hitting the backspace key. I'm gonna do one click here, pull that across and double click there, okay? So now that's highlighted. We can change the color if we wanted to. So we use our edit arrow to edit anything, whether it's a drawing or a um, markup there. We can you know, change the size or we can go up here and change the color. Just like so next on our list is a cloud so if you want to draw emphasis to a certain area of the plan say that um, you know this dimension right here is really important to you you can put a little cloud just so it kind of stands out and reminds you that that is a really important thing to pay attention to a call out this is a great way to leave notes for yourself or someone else in the company we can go up here and say you know what please confirm question mark like that again we can grab it with the edit arrow we can move that around we can resize it if we wanted to we can also change the the, the font size so up here you'll see you know little plus or minuses that we can adjust that size and we could change the color of that as well okay Dimension line, this is a great little tool. So say I just wanted to know the measurement from you know point A to point B. I'm gonna do one click here, drag this across, do one click here, and then the third click is for placement. So if I wanted the place to be right on the line, I would just double click. If I wanted to pull that out, I'm gonna double or double click there. Awesome. Text box, this is just for adding text. So um, add text just like so again we can grab that with the edit tool uh, we can increase the size we can increase or change the color just like so okay add a plan legend this is an awesome one so the way this works is you just want to find like a, a clear spot on the plan which there's not a really good clear spot on this plan but let's go down to the legend and we're just going to draw a rectangle figure so anywhere you want one click there pull that out drag that across this is going to give us our color coding and our measurements for everything on the page which is really really cool so it's going to show all right our 12 inch tile is the greenish color here and it's also going to give us our measurements like that the really cool thing about that is if we wanted to print this plan it's going to show print with all of our different markups on it 
our takeoffs and the quantities just like so. In the print, we're just going to go right here to the little print to PDF icon. It's going to pop up and say, okay, we know that in this entire project, we've got two uh, plans with takeoff. So it's going to default there. We can click that. It's going to queue it up. Um, we can save it. We can print it. We can email it to someone just like so. And then the last, but certainly not least on the little list here, if you hover over the question mark, you can click to support. That'll take us out to the support tab. This will also, when everyone signs up with us, you are assigned uh, a customer success manager. Okay, in this case, it would be Lauren, and this is her direct line. So that rings right at her desk. So if you have any questions about your account, you need to want to upgrade your account, you want to add an additional user, you would certainly call Lauren for that. If you just want to call the main support line there as well, so that whoever is available to help you. Down here and our chat button. Okay, start a new conversation, then you can chat with us. It's a great way to get a quick answer to any of your questions in the software. All right, so we've kind of worked our way around. Covered all of our, our takeoff terms over here, and we've worked our way around this side. I think the next video, we're going to cover more of the advanced features, like using label groups, using bookmarks. Uh, labels will be for grouping your data, and bookmarks are hyperlinks to be able to quickly jump around the plan page. It's really cool. So we will see you in the next lesson. All right. Thank you very much for your time today.